Let's talk about the toxic effects of copper, okay? It's actually quite common, but people don't realize it. I'm gonna give you the symptoms first. Uh, depression, anxiety, no focus, overworked adrenals, which is gonna create adrenal fatigue, and then fatigue, insomnia, of course, which leads to more fatigue, low blood pressure, sometimes vomiting, and there's a whole list of additional symptoms. I mean, hypothyroidism, um, black tarry stool, I mean, the list goes on and on. This is gonna be a very um, summary video. I put a link down below of a great comprehensive video if you want more information. But it's a very common thing, but people don't realize they might even have this condition. Uh, a good blood test slash hair analysis could pick it up real fast. Now realize that copper works with zinc and you need copper in your body for many different things. But when it becomes too high, it becomes very toxic. Now there's several causes of having too much copper in your body. One is you're using certain cookware that has copper in it. Two, birth control pills as well as the IUD. That can put copper in your body and create a huge imbalance. Certain supplements. <laughs> copper is one of those trace minerals that you need in very, very small amounts. You don't need large amounts. That is one of the reasons why I don't put copper in a lot of my products. And if I do, it's in very, very small amounts with other minerals, especially zinc, because you don't want to just take copper for a long period of time because it's going to throw off a lot of other minerals, specifically zinc. So the more copper you have, the more zinc deficiencies that you're going to get. And zinc deficiency is very, very common, but it's also very important to know all the different causes of a zinc deficiency which will lead to excess amounts of copper. Now, low stomach acids create a zinc deficiency, okay, because you need the acid to help you absorb zinc. And if you're deficient in zinc, you're going to have excess amount of copper. And then straight zinc deficiency, which you can get more data in the link down below. One way to help counter the toxicity of copper is to actually take zinc. All right, there's certain foods that are very, very high in copper. That would be dark chocolate, mushrooms, definitely shellfish, but shellfish also has zinc. So sometimes that can actually counter it. But if you're trying to get rid of the toxic effect of copper, I probably would just go low on all of these foods right here. Uh, nuts, sesame seeds are very high in copper. Now, if the gallbladder is either missing or congested, you're not going to be able to eliminate copper that well. And that can back up in the liver and create all sorts of damage in the liver and as well as in the brain. There's a genetic condition called Wilson's disease, which is a toxicity of copper in the liver, creating all sorts of issues. I don't want to get into that at this point, but the point is that if the gallbladder is not allowing things to flow properly through the bile ducts into the small intestine, you can get a backup of copper and create some serious problems with the liver, uh, specifically cirrhosis, okay? And if there's damage with the liver itself, you could also have a buildup in copper. Phytates, which are in whole grains and beans, block zinc, which could automatically give you too much copper. So the bottom line is if you have too much copper, you need to avoid the things that are giving you too much copper, and you need to take zinc to help the ratios, okay? All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.